What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and today I'm going to show you how to make a snare in Logic's ESP synth. In my last video I showed you how to create a kick in Logic's ESP synth, so if you didn't see that or you want to learn how to make a kick from scratch, click the link in the top left hand corner and it'll take you back to that video, and then come back here to learn how to make a snare sounding percussion kind of thing. So with that said, let's get to the tutorial. First thing we're going to do is copy our kick setting, bring down this drop down, hit copy setting, and we're good to go. Create another software instrument track and bring in an ESP synth and then paste that setting into our ESP synth right here because well the truth of the matter is it doesn't um, there's not a big difference between the settings between a kick and a snare just a few knobs to turn so I'm gonna go ahead and paste the setting and there it is right there here's our kick alright so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, like I said we're only gonna turn a couple knobs we're gonna make this and flip it so right now for the kick we have the frequency down and the resonance up we're gonna bring up the frequency and we're gonna bring the resonance all the way down our release we're gonna make this a little bit higher and our filter over here we're gonna bring down all the way and just by changing our frequency resonance our a little bit release to make it sound more like a snare kind of thing because it kind of releases a little bit longer and our filter right here we get a snare sounding uh, percussion. Now granted it is more sci-fi sci sounding snare, but it is a snare nonetheless that you could kind of uh, layer it under your other snares to get a fuller sounding kind of more, um, more dynamic snare at that. Alright, so there's how you create a snare in Logic's ESP polyphonic synth. As usual, I will go ahead and save this as a preset, so you can download that in the more info section. You'll see the link there, and you can download that preset for the ESP polyphonic synth along with the kick preset as well. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And as usual, guys, more great videos always coming soon, so remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Talk to you soon. Later.